This video covers my creating a large 8 foot wide, 9 foot long, 8 foot tall boulder built with a strong cardboard form. Now this current clips as far as I got in the build of the big boulder before my wife kiboshed the build with a strict order to demo and remove it as she said it wasn't going to stay. About two weeks went by and my considering my options, I thought uh, I'll just build the rest of it for the sake of the video, then tear it down after and I couldn't do it. It was such a waste. Anyway, I came up with an idea that I passed by her and she bid on it, so I went with it. I said, how about that panther I started making back in 2014? I could use the rock at about two foot tall, I told her, and uh, put the panther on it. And she liked that idea, so I got authority to go forward. And I now am going to show you the build up until the point of the tear down and then i'm going to show you the tear down and how i made it a a, a a a rock mount for my panther so stick with me when i originally made this rock during a hands-on training class we only got two coats of mud and mesh on the back half the front half i just sprayed to stabilize it and then we didn't do any more on it for the rest of that class so in order for me to cut it if i started to cut the front with just the, the mud on it and i started vibrating it with the grinder and the saw it would fall off and chip and so i had to mud it to two layers of mesh on the front with mud as well and that's where i'm going to start this video from that point on I started out by digging a one foot wide by one foot deep footer to, for the footprint of the rock that I was going to make. I poured the footer with concrete that was reinforced with five horizontal layers of mesh in the concrete. I also put 10 strips of mesh to tie the rock to the footer into the footer as I poured it. I screwed the bottom plate or the cardboard L's down to the footer at every eight inches. I screwed the studs, or the cardboard L's, to the bottom plate. I screwed the top plate and interior braces to the studs. I then performed a loaded strength test at 210 pounds. I then started to shape the boulder with cardboard L's as ribs. I then started to install the horizontal cross members. I then finished all the remaining ribs and horizontal cross members. I then started to sheet the frame up to the six foot level with flat cardboard sections attached with drywall screws. I applied an acrylic glue to seal the cardboard so it wouldn't get wet from the mud and lose its rigidity and or collapse. I started to cover the back side of the rock with the first layer of mud. I then embedded the mesh reinforcement into the first layer of mud. I blew on the second coat of mud and added another layer of mesh. I applied two coats of mud and mesh and let it cure for two days. I then marked and cut around the entire horizontal level that I desired to obtain. I then made vertical cuts to be able to remove sections of surprisingly strong cement covered cardboard sheeting to my surprise. Okay, so I've got all the cleanup around, got all the cement picked up. I put that in the center so it wouldn't put any weight on the walls. Not that I'm worried about that. And then I put the cardboard, all the cardboard except for these, because I'm going to use these were still pretty good. And I'm going to make the frame across for this top of the rock, which I've got all the cardboard off on the inside. Some of it just came right off and others was like a paper that stuck and I ground it and cleaned it all up. So I could actually get that to screw to this. This thing is nine foot long and at the widest part, it's seven and a half feet. And just to have a flat top on it is going to be very structurally requiring. What I'm doing right now is what's called a Q-deck. I don't know if any of you are familiar with it, but we poured concrete decks that were basically three-inch pours. And they were on steel forms, just like this, like I'm showing you now on the, uh, on the photo. But anyway, I've made my own form to pour. And I left this undone. So you could see how I started out with the beam, uh, a, a, an L. Then I cloaked it down to the garbage. Now I'm resting on the garbage just to give me support. This thing ain't going to drop. And 
then I put this piece in between the two to get it elevated. And again, my whole cementaceous structure, support structure, is floating above the trash. The cement chips and, uh, and the cardboard that I threw in there. It's okay, guys. I got all the form completed, and it's taped so that it doesn't absorb water and lose rigidity. But this is just a form for me to make my Q-deck form. And to have that form that I'm about to make secure to the walls all the way around. As you'll notice, I've left... A vertical bite area and I'm going to be bonding that with a admixture of glue all the way around literally it's going to bite that and then these beams or ribs will give me a area to pour concrete when I'm doing the top with a, with a mortar mix with the mesh I'm going to be putting some bar in here or more mesh I guess either way reinforcement is the key and make mini beams here and that's what a Q-deck does basically it's going to be a constant monolithic pour but Okay, what I'm doing now is I've already pre-placed a layer of mesh onto the cardboard, the tape cardboard, to which I'm now applying a quarter inch of my high-strength fiber-reinforced cement mix. And then, on top of that, a second layer of mesh, followed by another layer of quarter inch of my mud, with a third layer of mesh embedded into that, another layer of quarter inch mud, and then the fourth and final layer of mesh, which will see my Q deck being a total of three quarters of an inch thick. I'll let that cure for two days and then pour my reinforced beams. And then immediately thereafter, my two inch reinforced complete top over the beams to make a very strong reinforced top, which will be great for the ages to come. Stick with me. Okay, I poured the beams off of camera. Uh, basically, I've got layers of mud. I got five layers of mesh in there because I don't like using steel rebar. So those beams are poured, and that's with a regular mortar mix, just like I used uh, on the sidewalls. And now what you see me doing is I'm actually mudding the side walls outside to the top with one foot piece of mesh because the lower part has four layers of mesh the upper part's going to have as well but i've got to join the sides to the top once that is all the way done all the way around then you're going to see me pour a fiber reinforced mesh fiber reinforced mesh so a three quarter inch top on all of it so stick with me guys Okay, so my camera got a little bit full with video, so I had to uh, upload some of that to my computer. But anyway, I got the first layer of mud and mesh down. I'm about to start the second.
All right, that's it. We just gotta let it dry. Tomorrow I'm gonna take a sanding disc in my hand, one that you would use for metal and just lightly buff it, just to kind of knock the sharp granular pieces of sand that are sticking out. And then I'll hydro seal it and get ready for the stain. Okay, so this morning I came and I uh, took this as a metal um, grinder blade. And basically what I do is I just, I go by and I, I scrape and I knock down all the big uh, chunks that might have been here. But right now, it's it's all knocked down. And again, you're not trying to polish it. You're just trying to knock down the pieces of sand that stick out that make it sharp to, to interact with. But that's all washed down now and uh, getting ready to make some hydro seal. And Okay, so the camera went off. I got from this side all the way around to that brush right there with the with the hydro seal underneath. Now I got the top and this front side to do. All right, guys, uh, I hydro sealed those three rocks. The big rocks hydro sealed, ready for stain. And I hate to do this to you, but I'm going to make the video right now because I got to get one up uh, for the big rock, how it was made. And then I'm going to do a very good staining with the big rock and these uh, little three rocks that are with it as another video. So you guys, I've got so many people that want to see staining and I want to be very good with it and and detailed and i'm not going to put that in the building of the big rock so stick with me it's coming look